So as the launch approaches, I want to dive back into the altars and why it's such an important thing to do on launch. Now, when I say it's the most important thing to do, I would say that it's secondary to campaign. Um, and the only reason for that, arguably, is the fact that you don't really get your mount until you finish portions of the campaign. But once you get that mount, you can even start doing the altars then. But to be honest, I would wait to the finish of campaign because by that point, hopefully people will come out with maps. So you can just follow them quite easily across each zone. But altars, a lot of people point to them and say, hey, I'm only getting like a portion of skill damage or a little bit of bonuses here or a little bit of bonuses there. Each of the different stats gives you different things like extra healing received um, or overpower damage from willpower or extra armor from strength or your main stats gonna give you extra skill damage to give you an example here the necromancer if you get an intelligence point it gives you 0.1% skill damage great if you have let's say 28 altars in the first map and a fifth of them are that intelligence stat two intelligence per then roughly means you're getting about 12 intelligence which means that you're getting only about 1.2% skill damage off of picking up the altars and that doesn't seem like a lot to some people. And I would say you're right. It's really not a whole lot in the grand scheme of the game. Additional 1.2% skill damage, which kind of, you know, additively adds to all your other bonuses that you have, doesn't really increase your damage by 1.2%. It arguably would only increase your damage by only a small margin. But here's where the hidden power of the Paragon system and the altars combine. Because at level 50, which is why I say you should immediately run to the altars after the campaign, because ideally the campaign is going to put you somewhere close to 50 when you finish it, and you're going to have your mount. You can see here as an example of one of the later Paragon nodes, the rare node finisher, it's going to give you 14% core skill damage. And then if you have a the bonus unlocked, you're going to get an additional 14% core skill damage for a total of 28% which means that you need those intelligence points because you can see here you need 540 intelligence to unlock that node which means that even if you're a class that doesn't use let's say you're a rogue and you use um you know dexterity you want dexterity you maybe you want a little bit of strength for some additional armor but you don't really care about overpower damage you don't really care about uh, maybe intelligence maybe these things don't matter to you and your build well guess what at level 50 they will because you can see here this node gives you dexterity gives you core skill damage right which would be an amazing, amazing thing for the rogue. But guess what? The rogue now would need intelligence in order to pick up this node. So you absolutely want to nail these altars a little out. To give you an idea here, some of the earlier nodes require even less um, of the additional unlocks. For example, here are some of the nodes that have been data mined and shown in the kind of building process this node here prime 10 percent damage four percent life bonus another 10 percent damage if requirements are met which is 160 intelligence which means that early on you could oftentimes get a decent amount of intelligence and let's say there's roughly around 25 alters per map right which is five maps which means that roughly you're going to get one fifth of those to each of the stats which means 25 alters per stat which means you're getting 50 essentially bonus stats to each of intelligence, strength, dexterity, and willpower. Those 50 points can matter extremely, extremely a lot if you are lacking intelligence or strength to pick up these nodes, which is why it's so, so important for you to unlock every single altar before you reach level 50. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be before 50, but when you do reach 50, you're gonna get all these bonuses if you do happen to, because if you're going through and you're picking up altars, guess what? You're gonna get the renown finished. You're gonna go ahead and increase your renown. And if you do finish your renown, you're gonna get the four paragon points per map which means that when you do reach that level 50 and you start to earn some of those paragon points guess what you've already accrued a lot of paragon points so that you can dump them into the paragon board and immediately unlock some of those rare nodes which require those stats so overall the alters lift are one of the biggest progression mechanics early on in the game the later you pick them up the less valuable they become because oftentimes you can start reaching numbers like, I don't know, maybe like a thousand, two thousand intelligence. I mean, in Diablo three, we were seeing like tens of thousands, right? So I definitely could see how Alter Lilith will fall off, but there's also other bonuses that you can acquire. And the earlier you get them, the better your progression will be as of launch. So my best recommendation is to nail out the campaign and then immediately pick up the Alters Lilith not only for the future seasons but also to help you out so even if you're considering oh well it's only for the future seasons it's not only for the future seasons it's for this season for your paragon board 
hopefully that gives you help guys a little bit of uh, insight into some paragon mechanics and some of the altar mechanics it is extremely valuable for you to pick up not only for paragon system not only for the future seasons but also for the renown as well which will make your whole life easier thanks for watching let me know what you think in the comments down below and i hope you're excited for launch because there's going to be a ton of videos coming from me and i'll see you off the next one